the goal again was was to build a business that was going to let me create wealth and when i talk about wealth you know the, the part i like about the wealth isn't so much the money it's the freedom it's the freedom to really do what you want when you want why I got my insurance license. There is, there's a few different factors that, that made me think about getting my insurance license. And, and the first one that I really remember is when I was a teenager, I remember one of my friend's father, he did very well and he worked in the insurance business. And he told me, he said, listen, David, if you, if you wanna do well, you should get into insurance. And the reason why is because insurance creates residual income. And he explained to me, that what happens is you get in the industry, you could work really hard, and then you would play a lot of golf. Or you could work really hard, get to a point, and then continue to work, and you could become wealthy. And when he explained that to me as a child, it, it stuck with me for, for a really, really long time. And the issue was, I never really, after being a child, I never really was um, knew anyone that worked in insurance. I didn't really know how to get to insurance. I ended up, working in the oil industry for a while. And that was, you know, that's what I was, um, that's what I was exposed to. So later on in life, when I'm in my, my mid thirties, um, you know, at a point where I really, really want to reinvent myself. I wanted to find a way to start living the life that I wanted to live. I wanted to be able to live where I wanted to live. Uh, I want to live how I wanted to live, take the vacations when I want, as often as I want, as long as I want. And I really wanted to, to build a life of freedom. And I was really looking to, like I said, re reinvent myself and find something new, some new career, some new business I could start. Um, before that, I was actually at a flood remodeling business. And what, what I've learned is that there's different types of businesses and you want to build a business that creates a residual income. So one business I was thinking about, I, I enjoy working out and I like fitness a lot is I was thinking about working, uh, I was thinking about opening a gym, right? And then one of my friends reached out to me or we were talking and he t told me about a friend of mine named Doug who was doing very, very well in the insurance industry. And, and right away it got my attention because again, this is an industry that, that I've heard was a really good industry to be in since I was a child. And it's an industry that's really known for generating wealth. So at that point, um, I was interested in, to know more about what, what Doug was doing. So I reached out to Doug and I, and I took a look at the company he was working with and, and everything he was doing. And it looked like he was having massive success and it looked like a very simple and, and duplicate system that, that he was um, involved in. So, now I'm at the point where I was like, okay, do I want to open a gym or do you want to build an insurance agency, right? The, the goal again was, was to build a business that was going to let me create wealth. And when I talk about wealth, you know, the, the part I like about the wealth isn't so much the money, it's the freedom. It's the freedom to really do what you want when you want. And I was looking at the two businesses, um, doing some pros and cons. And you know, what I really came up with is having a gym. You know, I knew a few people that, that have owned gyms and it didn't look like they had the kind of freedom that I wanted, right? The insurance industry is an industry that's known for generating wealth. If you look at any major city, usually the tallest buildings in that city have something to do with insurance. So at that point, I decided that insurance was the vehicle that I needed to create the life that I wanted to create. And there was a few things that were important to me with that. So I, like I said, I used to do disaster work. And the reason I did disaster work is because anytime there was a disaster, there was more work than the local people can handle, right? When there's a hurricane that comes in and, and um, gives a lot of damage to, to the area, you know, people come in from all these different states to help handle the work, right? Because there's just so much work. 
So again, now I'm looking at insurance. I'm looking at it from a business standpoint. I wasn't looking at it as, oh, I wanna be an insurance agent. I was, again, looking at creating a business that was gonna help me have the freedom that I wanted. And I knew the, the biggest thing that was most important when you create a business is the demand, right? You, you wanna find some kind of need that you can meet. So when, when I talked to Doug, one of the biggest questions I had with him was, is there leads and how many leads and where are the leads? And, and you know, most of my questions were all lead related, right? Because again, I, I learned being in a business, it's, it's all about the demand. You could have the best product in the world, but if you don't have some kind of marketing program, some kind of advertising program, find the people that actually want that product, it's gonna be really hard to survive in that business. And I, and I learned that uh, when I worked with a network marketing company, we had uh, great products. I love the products, I was a product user, but at the same time, I, I couldn't really find the amount of people I wanted to. I wanted, I wanted a lot of people to be knocking on my door, calling my phones, emailing, looking for these products. And when, when I found that, I found that with senior life insurance company, they, they just had a, a, a demand. You know, they created thousands of leads on a daily basis of people looking for their products, right? So if you are thinking about getting in the insurance industry, it's an amazing industry to be in, right? Just, just know that every company you work with, every opportunity, IMO, they're, they're all gonna be a little bit different. And there's a lot of different moving parts and a lot of stuff they could talk about, but really the, the most important one is having a consistent lead flow. And that's any business, you know, if, if someone approached me and said, listen, uh, I have these volleyballs that we sell and we have thousands of people looking to buy these volleyballs every single day. We just need to uh, build a sales team to, to get these volleyballs sold to, to all these people. I'd probably be selling volleyballs, right? It, it was, again, this is looking at, at insurance more of a business than, than being an employee, right? When you're an insurance agent and you're, you have to go and sell insurance every single day, you're just an employee still, right? You, your, your income is dependent on you going to work. And, and it, my goal wasn't to be an employee. It wasn't to be an employee in my own business. My goal was to build a business that if I decided to go to Brazil and backpack Brazil for four months out of the year, my income is not gonna change. Everything's gonna keep going as normal. It's a business that can operate without me. And that's what I've been able to do uh, with my insurance license. I got my insurance license in May of 2018. And within less than three years, I've built a business that, that operates completely without me. My income will not change because I decided to take a few months off to go backpack Europe, right? And, and that's the freedom that I wanted. And that's the reason why I, I joined this industry. So I'm, I'm really blessed. Uh, another thing too you want to look at when you sell insurance is to make sure that you're selling a product that you get a renewal income on. Because again, the reason I joined the insurance industry is because I wanted to build residual income. And not all products, not all companies pay you renewals, right? So, so again, that, that would have been defeating the purpose. Why would you work in the insurance industry if you're not getting paid renewals. It just it just doesn't make sense to me. So again, that, that was very important to make sure that the work I do this year, I'll be paid on that work for the rest of my life, right? And what happens is the longer you stay in this business, that income, it, it just, you have what's called a snowball effect and the income will continue to snowball because you continue to get paid on the work that you've done in the past. And that to me is what freedom is. So if there's any other questions about the insurance industry that you have, please put them down in the comments. Um, I'm glad to help anyone that needs some help that, that's looking for some guidance. That, you know, I, I want to see people win. There's more, there's enough out here for everyone to eat, for everyone to, to be successful. So whatever company you're at, whatever you're doing, if I could help you win, please reach out to me, put some stuff in the comments, uh, click the links below. Let's talk.